what's going on daily tactics here and today we are back with another episode of the clone wars recreated series and i'm really excited about this one because we're covering one of my favorite clone wars episodes uh the one which takes place within grievous's lair it's just such an awesome episode it's basically like these Jedi and clones are trapped in this haunted horror house and they have to escape with their lives while being hunted by a madman. It's sick. It's such an experimental episode and I love it. Uh, so we have Kit Fisto here with Commander Phil who has like slightly alternative armor because I didn't actually have a Commander Phil. So this is the best I could do for him. And they have five clone troopers here. Um, I didn't have a skin for the uh, Jedi Knight Nadir. So... I decided we'd just make it so he had already died at this point in the episode, so he's not going to be in it, even though the Commander Phil timeline with all that doesn't match up, but whatever, we're just going to have to uh, accept that that's the way it's going to be. I, I do apologize about that, guys. Um, but regardless, uh, Kit Fisto and his clones here have to escape the horror house that is Grievous's lair, um, and there are Magna Guards and droids all over the place. Again, I had to take liberties because this game has a lot of restrictions that I can't exactly cover, um, you know, the episode verbatim, but we're doing our best here. So, we got Magna Guards and Battle Droids covering all the exits, um, and then we get outside here. They've got to make it through some terrain here. Um, they have to go through gore. Grievous's friend, who is not a Rancor in the show, but he's a Rancor-esque monster, so I thought this would be fine. So here's Gore, um, and then we got more Battle Droids and Magna Guards, and then finally Grievous is guarding uh, this LAAT shuttle, and I know uh, Kit Fisto ended up making his getaway in his Jedi um, craft, but uh, this time around we're going to have an LAAT, so in case we get more clones or whatever out. So it should be still a very interesting episode of Clone Wars Recreated. It's probably going to be the farthest from the actual TV series that we've gone in terms of the way the battle works, but again, I just got to make some you know compromises and things like that to make it entertaining for you guys and things like that. So I hope that's okay, and I'm still really excited for this episode. So without further ado, I'll be right back and we'll get this started. All right, guys, so for this mission, I ended up deleting the ceiling here because it was almost impossible to uh, see within the walls with it there. It was making it incredibly frustrating, so I just deleted it. Uh, also, I'll be commanding the Republic for this mission. Let's see how this opener goes because there are three Magna Guards right there, and this could spell some trouble for our boys. So uh, shots being fired instantly. Wow, lots of grenades getting thrown. Back off, back off, back off. Okay. One Magna Guard is still left alive there. Just chop him down. Very nice. I am taking you guys off free move mode because I don't trust you. We made it out of that without any losses. That was beautiful. Wait, Lord Gonk's here. What's up, Lord Gonk? I did not realize you were uh, on this map. Always good to have you, my friend. Love Lord Gonk. All right. Oh, all right. We're going to tango with this droid down the hall. This table actually makes it so we can't shoot those guys below there. Um, but there is a battle droid way out there. We're tangoing with a little bit, and we got the kill. Nice. Okay, that's big. Um, I think a grenade from one of these clones down there might help us out a little bit. So let's give that a shot. Oh, it's going to hit the ceiling there. For that little roof bit. Oh, we can't get a grenade off. Okay, that's a pain. Um, maybe go to the side then? I don't know. Uh... That Magna Guard just wasn't able to get an angle on us, apparently. Beautiful! That was so good! Oh, this guy's down to half health, but, like, he just absolutely killed it right there. Nice job, man. Okay! We're doing awesome! That's crazy! Okay. Sick, sick, sick. Alright, let's move down the stairs here. Move it, move it, move it! I need to see you guys chugging along! Okay. Alright, this next room is gonna be a different story. This might be a little tough. Alright, you soldier, you got a DC-15, eh? Oh, I accidentally pre-fired. Oh, but he had backup. He would have been toasted if that that backup fire hadn't come in. Oh, okay, he did die. That's a shame. All right, there was no backup that time, apparently. Apparently, the clones were like, eh, no, this time around, uh, you're on your own, buddy. All right, Commander Phil, you took a few shots there. I don't want you dying, so we're going to peel you back and send a standard clone. Oh, he actually ended up getting the kill there. Nice. All right. Let's see. It does get a little awkward and tight around here with the camera angles, so I do apologize about that. Actually getting shot at from a Magna Guard outside there, up on top of that ramp. Yeah, try 
try getting the kill on him. Oh, he got the kill on you. That's tough. Okay, go around this side. Is there any more droids around there? No. Okay. So there's just droids on the right. Maybe we could try and get, an, get a grenade off here? Because they've got... Mm, well, they might not expect us to crawl under, so... We'll see if they spot us here. If they do, we can always pull back a little bit. Okay, they spotted us. Oh, and we weren't able to pull back fast enough. Okay, and then there were four. <laughs> Slowly, one by one, the clones are, in fact, dying, just like the TV show. Uh, that one was a shame. That was bad. Um, how do we kill these guys? Hulk! Oh, we're getting shot from... Well, this guy can't hit us. It's those guys up there that are shooting us. Jeez, okay. And then there were three. We need to take care of these guys, apparently, because they can just shoot us from above there. That's really obnoxious. Okay. Let's see. Because I thought when we... Well, I guess it makes sense. Got a few more hits on this guy. Haven't gotten the kill yet. There's a few more hits. Pop up, you coward! Stop dropping down. I know, this is a really bad angle. Very bad. Okay. I don't think he can hit us from this far back, actually, because he's not able to level his gun that way. So we're just free to get shots on him, but the problem is he keeps ducking down, which, I mean, can't blame him as we're just shooting him, but it's making it a bit of a struggle bus to actually get the final blow here. Actually, a real pain. God, how many shots does this Magna Guard take? Stand up! Come on, guy! Stop being a coward! Oh, there he is. See, we can barely hit him here. We can really barely hit him. There we go, got the kill. Okay. Now there's that other droid right there, too. But we can't shoot him. Oh, there's Gore. I think Gore got himself stuck on a rock. Gore, you fool. You absolute dingnut. Alright. Huh. Can we maybe yeet a grenade and kill that guy? If we get a little closer. We gotta be careful about this, though. Get, get us a nice bird's eye view. Because this guy can't really hit us because he's got boxes in the way. Oh, that might do it. Give that a shot. Lay down cover. Oh, <gasps> beautiful. Well done. Oh, he's still alive? <sighs> Magna guards must have extra health or something. That should have killed a normal droid. That one got him. Okay. That's pretty big right there. Can you get one, like, over there? Um, maybe if we... We can get one right there. I don't think that would get the kill, though. We can try. Oh, we actually got the kill on one of them. That's actually kind of surprising. Alright. There's still that one out there, though. And this camera angle is not helping our cause. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Okay, you are out of grenades, my friend. Go search that guy. What are we waiting for? Actually, this might be a job for Kit Fisto, because he can absorb some blaster fire, since Jedi do have, like, 300 to 400 health versus the clone's normal 100. Not to mention, his lightsaber actually... It's programmed in-game so that, like, one in every three or four shots doesn't do any damage to simulate, like, deflective incoming fire, that kind of a thing. So, he might be able to do this. Oh! He went down for a grenade! Shoot him! Get him! You fool! Kit Fisto! You're... Oh my god. Kill him! Oh my god. I have to do everything. These AI are so dumb. <sighs> okay, Kit Fisto, you're gonna need to heal a little bit there, bud. Because you took way more damage than uh, we had hoped. Got it, sir. Everyone heal. Okay, you're all good. Okay. One shot, one <sighs> Okay. That was really bad. Alright, Phil, can you deal with this guy here? Oh, he's reloading right now. Gorgeous. Beautiful kill. Oh, okay. Pop pop back, Phil. Oh, 
this, this guy's got a longer range apart. rifle. He might be a bit better off. All right, he's suppressed. Keep it up, buddy. Keep it up. There we go. Got him. We can now begin our trek outside. We have conquered the building here. There's still a droid up there, though. I'm very worried about that droid, in all honesty. Okay. He can't hit us right now, because there's a rock in the way. So we can, like, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy our way up here and, you know, get a nice Just little... Like Boop! Get wrecked. Beautiful. Alright. Commander Phil, Kit Fisto, and Random Clone. We'll name Never him surrender. Clyde. I might have used that name previously, but that's okay. Okay. The Rancor, or Gore, rather. Rangor. Not that clever. Um, is just sitting there. Because I think he got himself stuck on a rock. Alright. We can push out little bit here. Take on that droid there. And, okay, wait. Phil, you keep shooting that droid. There we go. Got the kill on him. You take on that droid that's a little bit farther away. You can't really hit him that well, because there are rocks in the way. Alright, Phil, you move on forward here. Oh, your rifle is not made for that kind of range. Shoot. Did you, have you killed that guy yet? No. This guy's really tough to hit. I think I gotta kind of leave it up to the AI. Yeah, he's like wedged behind a rock, and then there's this mound here, which makes it difficult as well. Alright, Kit Fisto. Gore, please don't attack us. <laughs> These Rancor are actually super powerful in-game. I've thought about doing a video with just them versus like a clone battalion or something like that. I thought that might be kind of neat. Um... Because they, they shred. They're really hard to take down. Okay, come on. Did we get that kill? We did! Nice! Okay. So the problem is, if we come around this way, then Gore might turn around and attack us. We're going to have to hope he doesn't. Because I don't really want to have to take him on. Alright. There's a bunch of droids in this little outpost area. Maybe we could just grenade them straight up. That might be the way out of this. Hold this position. All right, Kobe. Nice one. Huge Kobe. Yeah, we could just grenade these guys. Take the easy way out. Always leave more droids than you can All right. Negotiate. We should probably take out Gore though, while he's trapped. I think he's just straight up stuck. And <laughs> we'll just shoot Gore in the booty. Alright, take down Gore. <laughs> the sound Grievous makes when Gore dies is like one of the most tragic things in the world. He's like, Gore? So sad. Oh no! Kit Fisto, watch out! Oh. Yeet! Oh no! Ah, he's attacking Kit Fisto. <laughs> Come on, guys. Bring him down. Bring that monster down. Yeet! Oh, someone threw a grenade at Gore. You got him! Alright, Gore is dead. Imagine Grievous going, yes, Gore? Right now. Okay. Clanker. Let's finish off these guys inside this bunker and then take on Grievous himself. Alright. One grenade for you. And another grenade for you. There you go. Very nice. Okay. That one didn't work. How about this one? Have a nice, nice grenade. Skadoosh. Very well done. Very nice. Alright. Time to move on and kill Grievous and his last two Magna Guards. Okay. Oh, wait. Shoot. There's a guy in here I just noticed on the minimap. Yes, Kit Fisto, you gotta go take care of him. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Last few troops over here. Let's go! Get him! Alright, Kit Fisto, you got this, you got this, you got this. Get in there. <gasps> okay. Okay. Commander Phil's down too. Ah! Uh, okay. 
<laughs> this random Clyde lived and Kit Fisto and <laughs> Phil died. What? What? All right, Clyde, you got a alternate ending here. You got to pick up Kit Fisto and get him into the ship and get the heck out of here. All right, my friend, you deliver body. Place body. Place the body. How do we place the body? Drop body, please. Understood, General. Drop the body. How do we drop the body? Oh, there. Drop the body. Okay. Now, uh, Kip Fisto is in, in the LAAT. <laughs> Clyde's getting in. Clyde's his pilot, of course. And, uh, we're... <laughs> it got sucked underground. How strange. What is this? Mate. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Vroom! <laughs> okay. This ending was unsatisfactory. Wowza. Um... That was neat. Wait, I want to I wanna show you guys the power of, uh, of gore here. Or, rather, rancors in general. Because they're, they're pretty cool, I gotta say. Um, so let me just re refresh this map here, and we'll check it out. By the way, uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Even though this was kind of a mess of a video, I still had a lot of fun making it. So, I appreciate you guys. Okay, uh, we'll just copy and paste these guys, like, over here, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we've got a nice open field here. This is just a little demonstration. The official video is, like, over, but, you know, this is for funsies. This is bonus. Bonus content. So I thought about maybe doing, like, a full video of this, but I don't know if it, if you guys would be super interested in, like, Rancor versus Clone Battalion, but could be neat. All right, well, yeah, we'll give them a couple of, couple of dudes here. Bunch of Kit Fistos, Commander Phils, and clones. All right, here we go. All right. Oh. Weapons check. Do we need to like get them going here? Check your weapons. There we go. Alright, so now here comes the rank. Oh! See, it took a lot of fire to take one out. But now the rest are coming. Oh my god. It's just Kip Fistos running at him. Okay, um, this doesn't really demonstrate the power of Rancors. Because Jedi are more powerful than Rancors are. So this wasn't the greatest rep <laughs> representation. Wait, hold up. Okay, let me... Here's the deal. Um, just clones are going to be over here. Clones only. Clones only. Give me another... Give me another Rancor. Alright. Just clones versus Rancor over here. There we go. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, so... I added a lot of clones, but... As you can see... Rancor's... Holding their own, I guess, kind of. <laughs> a little bit better than before. There are just a lot of clones, I think. Alright. I think all the Rancor are dead. Those guys are just derping a little bit. But So if we look at the dead... Uh, oh my god. Wait. Yeah. The, like, a lot of clones died. So you can see Rancors are powerful as long as they're not going up against literally, like, 200 clones. So, yeah. Alright, this video ended up being a little bit messy in the end. But uh, I had a lot of fun recording it. I hope you guys enjoyed, too. So I will see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.